Okay, so I just walked down here. I just got on. And off we go. Come on. always the challenge right here while we're looping around off to my right is the barn to the left is the trail that's when horses who don't want to go on the trail are going to tell you very good buddy okay so going downhill he's a little wobbly and so we just have to teach him and help him to uh, use himself going downhill so down all the hills i'm going to go slow Kind of like a quarter horse, if I can weave back and forth, that's what I'm going to do to kind of help him get himself underneath the stuff. That's our bag in case we see cows. So he's just kind of looky, so you just straighten his head just like we did in the pasture and make him pay attention to you. I want to keep looking around, they'll either get trippy or they'll find something to spook at. It's a spooky one. So if you want to let them look, stop. And let them look so they don't get trippy on you. Okay, so this is at the speed of his flat walk. I'm gonna go just a little faster. But you'll see his head going up and down because he's just trying to look, so he's gonna have to stay after him a little bit. Now it's going downhill, so I took my leg off. I'm sitting back and half halting, half halt, half halt, half halt. Oh boy stay very slow it's going to seem extremely slow but he's got to learn how to carry himself and he doesn't down the hills he just wants to kind of run down and swing his legs okay now it's flat so now we can go a little bit faster again but some of these guys that you guys are riding and they feel real wobbly it's because they're either not used to hills or they didn't do them well they just you know ran down them crooked, swinging their legs, pacing. So if you want it to feel safe and um, steady, this is downhill too. So anything that goes a little downhill, you slow them down. Just tell your friends to wait. And I just take my leg off, I sit back, I half hold, I breathe, and I make them go slow. Okay, so you'll see he's looking off to the right. So I just kind of put my right spur into the side, like, hey, I'm still up here get his head back down. Anything that's going up like this, you can go a little faster and work those hind quarter muscles. So, he's doing well. He's just crooked and looky. But that's up to us. Horses don't know that they, we don't want them to be crooked or looky. Okay, so now we have a steeper hill, and we can't really weave back and forth on this, so we're going to go pretty darn slow. So, what it feels like with him is, you know, if you've ever had a trailer and it's winging around behind you, that's what it feels like, like I'm using, losing our tail end. Good job, buddy. Oh, now you can give him incentive if you want. He's, he's trying hard, so let's give him a little cookie to reward him for going down the hill slow. And I bet you'll go down all the hill slow. Oh boy. So he stood well. Please so sit way back. Get your weight like on the back of your pants. Feel your pants against the back of the saddle. And you're just trying to help them. So if they're wobbling, they don't trip and lose their balance. Good boy. So that was pretty good. He slid just a little on the bottom. And walking horses slide their feet a lot. So you gotta be careful if they're sliding a lot, then put shoes on with a some kind of traction or a rim shoe or something, something to grip the ground. Okay, now we're going up. So right here I'm gonna let him go. Then I'm gonna push because he got slower. Good boy. So we're gonna motivate him to go up the hills. We're gonna calm him down to go down the hills. Oh, that's good, quite nice. Good oh boy. Okay, so we're heading towards the cows, but right here, something in the woods. I don't know. So, he's stopping. 
There's cows up ahead. That might be it. I can hear them. All he's doing is backing up, so I'm just staring backwards. Okay. Now, a lot of horses, when they're not confident, they're like, I'm not going. Are you crazy? We do have bears around here. So it could be a bear. It could be a deer. So we'll sit and see. And if he gets too scared, oh, so that's a sign. He's like, no way. I'm not going. So it's okay. So we just help him out. He's just a baby. So I'm going to get off. And he'll be like, okay, if you're on the ground, I can run from the bear. So that's okay. And then maybe it's the cows, but now I'll be ready for the cows. So not a big deal. And remember when you're going out alone, it's you and them. You're the herd. And so everybody says, don't get off. I've done this over and over again. It's fine. You get off, you get them by, and they're fine with it over time. Okay? So he's scared. So I'm just acting like a mother, like, hey, you're okay. You can follow me. <clears throat> but keep them out of your space. And we know if there's a bear here, it's not going to eat us. Come on. But he doesn't know that. So we got the cows up here. But it looks like they're in the back pasture. So he can hear them. They're just not super close. And I don't know if you can see it on the video or not. So I'm going to stop here and let him look. You can see his head, right? And he can see him. And so we're going to hang out for a little bit and let him get used to it. So a cow started coming down towards us. He's getting scared. So first he tried to turn and run away. And then next, he tried to come over the top of me. You see him? It's okay. This is so hard since it's afraid of cows. So you just want to keep him out of your space. That's why it's a good thing to carry a stick. Now, if that thing could be running up behind me because it's a baby, we don't know. But the whole point is better to be on the ground than be on him when this stuff is happening. Because if you're scared, they're scared. Then what do you think is going to happen? They're going to run away. So, but you got to keep them out of your space. Yep. Okay. Because again, his idea is turn and run. Let's not face the thing. And mine is, no, let's face our fears and get you over it. It's really not that scary. They're quite nice. But you have to keep them out of your space because otherwise they'll come over the top of you and hurt you. Or they'll run you over and then turn and run away. So. And that's why I always have a halter on, you'll see in a clip, so I can unclip my reins and make it much longer so he can stay far back from me. Okay. So there's the cow, he's coming towards us. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go towards the cow. All right, here we go, buddy. So again, they see different than us, so I don't even know if he can make that thing out yet. You know, most people go, oh, just tie the horse to a tree or blah, blah, blah. we will get over it. Yeah, you might, in the meantime, he might kill himself. And there's a tree, uh, the cow up to the left, which he doesn't know about yet. So the first thing you do is try and be safe and keep it out of your space. That's the scary cow. They're like, look, she's here with another idiot horse. <laughs> okay. Uh -uh. But be aware of everything. So I think that one's the bull up there. So I know he's over there. And when he catches sight of him, he's going to be more scared because that one's closer. So. so now they're all coming over. They're like, hey, what's going on? It's that lady again. Okay, but always be aware what you're around. See these things? I don't want to be by them. So I'm going to back them up a little bit. I'd like to be close, but he knows how to do the Spanish walk, so that's what he just did when I hit him with the stick, because you might think he's striking out at me. So this is one of his tricks. Okay, so I'm watching him, not the cows. I know the cows are coming up behind me, so I want to be ready to control him. I'm so worried about those cows. Why don't you back up a little bit? So you try to stay, you know, make a big circle around and make them as safe as they can. Make sure there's no ditches or anything. If there is, then, you know, move. He's a good horse, so I know once he figures them out, he'll be fine. See? Now he's going goofy. Hey! So the best thing to do with him, because they're going the back, home soon, we only had so much time with him, is to find cows and work him, you know, get him just used to it or take him to the farm. Come on. So, see who just showed up? I knew they were all behind me. We're not going anywhere. Ah, 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 ah. 
So again, I don't care if he moves, moving's fine. I just want to keep him away from any, you know, fences and stuff. Um, when they poop like that, you know they're getting ready to run because it makes them lighter and they can run faster. So when you see him poop, you're like, oh, he's really scared, he's getting ready. So they're going that way. Hi, pet cow. Hey. So I'm gonna move. He's moving around. Um, and then once they get over there, I'm gonna follow him over there, okay? Because now he sees, oh, they're just passing us. But he has to go through this whole thing. If he really hasn't seen cows before, he doesn't understand any of this. And that's normal, that's okay. That's You gotta get him used to him, man. He didn't grow up with cows. If he did, this wouldn't bother him. There's a slacker in the back. He's like, hey, did you guys see this funny horse over here doing all this stuff? He's scared of us. <laughs> all right, so now they're all ahead of me, so now's the time to follow. No, nope, get on. Don't let him get in your space. So now we're up by the cow, so now this is gonna take me a while. So again, I was taking them out on the trail, but this happens, so now we're not going any further. This is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna stay here a very long time to try to get him over it, so tomorrow it's not as bad. But he's already better than it was. We just gotta get him to know the cows aren't gonna kill him. And um, it's okay to be around the cows because you get a break when you see them. So the cow's right behind me. This is always funny. It's like a horror movie to him. He's like, he's in the closet. He's in the closet. Don't open the closet. He's behind you. But see, he's looking side to side. That's normal. That's how he tries to figure out how things are because he sees different than me. And I'm like, I know he's in the closet. It's just our brother with a hood on. It's not a murderer. Hi, bud. Hi. So there he is. So I'm trying to entice the cow to come a little closer with the food. We'll see. Oh, well, he's going the wrong direction. I know. But see, now he's right He's right next to me. He's like, you go first. I don't know how much of this is on camera. But this is much better than I expected. I wasn't sure if we were going to get this close. Like a little baby. So cute. First I had a baby. So... Now he's here. There's more cows. More cows coming up. He's doing better. But as you come over here and do stuff, you gotta make sure, you know, they keep saying, look at your surroundings. So I went all the way around, uh, around that way because I don't want to go get too close to the fence. Oh, is that Mr. Bull? Hmm. We're gonna walk a little bit further away. <laughs> um, you're trying to keep yourself and your horse safe. So now I'm more out in the open, so I have more space, and then I'm further um, back if that bull comes over here. Okay. You know, he's like, oh, that lady, she's here every day. The cows are starting to like me because I'm throwing a little food. Okay. He's doing better. See, he's figuring out what they were, so... He's never seen them either close enough or long enough to figure out what they were and to figure out that they weren't going to kill him. I think we'll just keep the video on in case he comes over here. Okay, let's back up. That's the mean one, so back it up. Okay, so now I have my bag of green, and now he's comfortable enough. He's like, okay, give me a snack now. So that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Pulls right there. You want another snack? Okay, yeah, give me a Scooby snack. It makes me brave. So I know when they'll eat something, they're not as scared. And then again, we're trying to associate with this with a good thing. Cute as that. Right? Now you don't care about the cows? So again, I want him to see everything with them, moving around, the bull staring at us. You can see it all. Okay, go first. Oh, look, he's gonna. He's gonna get small as well. Okay. So this might be boring for some of you, but some of you it'll help. So, Bertha moved 
her cow. She pushed another cow out of the way. He went flying backwards, got scared. So that's why the longer the, you know, the rein or the rope you have, the better. Hey, and I don't care if he moves, he can go frontwards, backwards, sideways. He can lunge around me as long as he's not on me. But these are the things you want to see because you think they are, you know, you went by the cows and the horse didn't spook, so you're like, oh, they're fine. Then the cow moves, the cow lays down, it rubs its head, it pushes another cow, and then they freak out. And you're like, what's wrong with him? They just really never saw the cow. So that's why when they're there, take advantage and just stay with them. Let them see everything they do. Rooting on the ground, scratching on the trees, laying down, sticking up, doing the... Uh, lifting their nose up, smelling stuff, all sorts of things. So he's not ready to leave here yet, right? No, you're not ready to leave. You gotta get used to this much more. Okay, Okay. now I'm right up by the fence. Somebody followed me and then the cow moved and they got scared. I'm trying to get these cows to come over, so hopefully Corazon will be brave enough to reach out and touch them. But then they can smell them and see it's not gonna kill them, so we'll see. So I got this one close enough that I smell my finger and then I let Corazon smell my finger. It's okay. Now you got two scared of each other. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on, he'll touch you. Who's more scared, the cow or the horse? The horse, of course. <laughs> okay, now I'm feeding the cow. I've made friends with him, but Corazon still is not. Right? Why are you feeding him? Who wants this one? Boy, can I touch you? Smell that. So if I can get any smell on me, I want him to smell it and see they haven't killed me. He's still getting ready to run away because he just pooped. I'll just ignore him. He's so blacky. She's like, yeah. Take a while. Let me back off. Go for okay, I don't know if it recorded the other part, but uh, he's doing good. He's much better going down the hills, I'm keeping him slow, and he's doing really nice running, walk, and engaging himself up the hills. I do keep contact when he's going uphill, so he doesn't uh, go into a canter.